At almost every stop, the veterans were greeted by people wishing them well. Roma Beach, Roma Beach, Roma Beach, no. Yeah, behind the line at uh, Canton. These French students wanted to know what the soldiers had done to free their country. That's where I landed. 23 minutes after midnight, morning of June the 6th. Former paratrooper Ralph Manley was always enthusiastic. Victory in Europe Day! Later, at a ceremony in a French town that was among the first to be liberated from the Nazis, all of the veterans would be honored by an association formed years ago by local French citizens. The men had all played a role in the D-Day invasion and the later battles to free France. The veterans on this trip would come to realize the gratitude still expressed by the French people. On the street, in town halls, and on the grounds of battles fought long ago, the French would stop and thank the Americans. Using an interpreter, the president of the association eloquently expressed his gratitude to the soldiers who had fought here. Normandy has not forgotten its liberators. Your determination and courage remain engraved in all our memories. We can never express our gratitude strongly enough to thank you for the sacrifices you made to restore freedom in our country. Veterans, my friends, you were 20 years old. You took part in a gigantic battle. You fight on the Normandy coast against fearsome enemies. Merci. Each veteran was presented with a special commemorative medal, a moment made all the more memorable as church bells rang throughout the town. Thank you for coming, yes, sir. I was probably one of the first that came in on Omaha Beach at HR minus two, two hours before the landing. And we looked up in this direction, and we thought, as we laid there, What are those people doing? How do they now feel? And so today, I finally got here. And I found out. And for all my life, I will remember Khan in this ceremony with the sound of your bells coming into my memory. Thank you so very, very much. For the first time since the invasion six decades before, the veterans looked at the coast of France from the English Channel at a place called Pont du Lac. On D-Day, soldiers had to climb steep cliffs, trying to knock out German guns in bunkers on top. It was a risky, bloody fight. As you can see, the beach is hardly any space over there at all. When they landed, it was like next to nothing. Uh, they had no really room to get over there. And But they went up there, and they did it. And boy, they took terrible casualties doing it. Besides the 75 that were killed, approximately, they had another uh, 50 of the casualties. It's, it's mind-boggling, it really is. And, uh, I know we lost a hell of a lot of guys here. But God, okay. this, is, this is tremendous. Those big, big guns over here could have wiped out hundreds of ships, yeah. uh, you know, uh, along the way. They had to get that out of there. I, I just can't imagine them having to go, go through this. I mean, it, it seems like an impossible task. The German bunkers at Pont de Lac are now a place children play and explore, little comprehending the horrific battle that occurred here. Allied bombers and heavy guns bombarded Pont de Lac, the craters from those bombs still visible to this day.
the American veterans once again marched in solemn procession to honor the dead and injured of the war and the battle on these grounds. Time after time, they held their flag high to show their reverence and pride. Would you jo join me in prayer, please? Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank Thee for the, the many blessings of life, but today, most of all, we thank Thee for the greatest generation. Those soldiers, sailors, and airmen who liberated France from oppression. We thank Thee for the people of France who have been so kind to us. God, we ask Thy blessing on the greatest generation and their fallen comrades and their families. We ask their blessing on the people of Normandy for remembering us, what, what we did here. In God's name we all pray, amen. 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 Any of our French friends like to say anything? Uh, merci beaucoup. Vous pouvez pas savoir ce que vous avez fait pour nous. Merci vraiment beaucoup. We, we see the results of our sacrifices to see people like you smiling and happy and free. They talk to visitors from many countries besides France from Poland, Germany, <laughs> Belgium. Mostly they're thanking us for what we did. Not the right here. About a half a dozen people have approached me and thanked me for my efforts here in freeing this land. Right. Well, <laughs> 40, 50 years later, they come back and tell me uh, how I affected their lives in some way. I hope they learned something from this. Merci beaucoup. Vous pouvez pas savoir ce que vous avez fait pour nous. Merci vraiment beaucoup.